It's really hard right now just to like choose to not be short with how I'm saying things, to just be kind with my words. But he says his yoke is easy and his burden is light, but motherhood has always felt so heavy and difficult for me. And I just didn't understand how God could talk about abundant life with him, but yet I wasn't experiencing it. Hey friend, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan, if you are new here, and I'm a stay-at-home mama of three boys who are five and under. Usually I will take you through a pretty big chunk of our day, but this day in particular, I was easing back into formal homeschooling curriculum and just felt a little bit overwhelmed in the morning. So I decided to just show you a little piece of our day. As I was sitting out on the porch in my quiet little space, just like trying to listen to the birds, just taking a minute before coming inside, I thought to myself, you know what, I should probably check on the boys. So I went upstairs and they were running around, sliding around. And when I asked where the water came from, they proceeded to point to the toilet. So they were playing in toilet water and I had to put them in the bathtub. So that's where they're at right now. And that's just kind of how my weeks have been going lately. The last week and a half have been just like that. Just really rough migraines and the boys just really misbehaving. Me trying to have self-control, to not yell, to not get flustered, to just be the person that changes the environment of my home for the better, not add to the chaos. And that has been something that I am just really trying to work on. A scripture that I wanted to share with you is from Luke 8. And it's Jesus talking about the sower of the seeds. And when you skip down to verse 11, it says, This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. The seed along the path are those who have heard the word, and then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. And the seed on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, but having no root, these believe for a while and fall away in a time of testing. As for the seed that fell among thorns, these are those who, when they have heard, go on their way and are choked with worries and riches and pleasures of life and produce no mature fruit. But the seed in the good ground, these are the ones who, having heard the word with an honest and good heart, hold to it and by enduring produce fruit. So initially upon reading that, you think that it's just talking about salvation and it is talking about salvation, but I do think it can be applied in other areas of our life that God will plant seeds of joy, of peace, of gentleness, all of these things, right? The fruits of the spirit, he can plant them in our hearts. But if we are not careful in a time of testing and recognizing that there is a time of testing, that we're not always going to have good days, that can be the devil just killing the plant, killing the seed, killing what God is trying to plant in our hearts if we're not continuing to water it and be faithful in the time of testing. And now I realize that this video is supposed to be peaceful and slow living and I still hope that it is, but that message from God I felt like has just been cooking in me for so long and I feel like I'm finally getting why I've had such a rough couple of days. <laughs> stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder so i just 
let's try to do our circle time. It's really hard right now. I'm trying to continue to have the self-control. I know I already said that, but it's just like, oh, so hard, so hard. Just to like choose to not be short with how I'm saying things, to try to be gentle with what I'm saying, making that like conscious effort, like trying over and over and over again to just be kind with my words. And they're practicing self-control too. Like it's on both ends. And I feel like they're not going to be able to have self-control if they're not seeing me control my own emotions. What I want to do is we're gonna go outside because I love being outside. It is calming for all of us. Just feel the fresh air and move on with our day. For several months now, I have been on this journey of just trying to figure out what it means to walk in the abundant life with Jesus because motherhood doesn't feel light like he talks about. He says his yoke is easy and his burden is light, but motherhood has always felt so heavy and difficult for me and I just didn't understand how God could talk about abundant life with him but yet I wasn't experiencing it. So I started watching other moms and what they did and I started praying. I started getting into the word and letting the word just permeate through me. So if I was starting to think negative thoughts, I was trying to be more conscious of that and then take it captive and think of a scripture and try to move my thoughts in a different direction. But honestly, I think that these are things that I was already doing prior to this. The difference about this time around was that I decided to quiet the noises around me. So I actually spent a season in silence and solitude, which meant that I basically didn't really hang out with anyone. I just stayed home, hung out with my kids. We hung out in the backyard. I wasn't on my phone anymore. I was just reading books and doing homeschool with them, cooking and cleaning and engaging with the Lord throughout the day. He was on my mind so much more because I had clearer thoughts. It was just so much more restful without the noise and I could hear him more clearly because I didn't have the extra noise. I think that abundant life was waiting for me all along. I just hadn't quieted the noise around me enough to even grasp it. What I'm learning lately is that abundant life also doesn't mean that you have perfect days. You still have hard days. It just means that you choose joy in those days, that you have to make a little bit more effort to just take your mind off of those negative thoughts and those negative habits and just to remind your spirit to abide in him. Lowercase a. Lowercase a. Roller coaster a. Lowercase a. Roller coaster a. No, not roller coaster a. Say lowercase. Lowercase. A. A. Where are the birds? They're hiding. Where are the birds? 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 Where are the get over how dark it is in this house and it's almost it's almost noon
Entering into 2024, my word of the year, because I do this every year, is that I wanted to find freedom. I wanted to know what it meant to be free in Christ. And I can confidently say that he has led me down a path of understanding the freedom in Christ. And my prayer for you, if you're watching this, I pray right now in Jesus' name that you would get to experience the freedom of Christ. He is so kind and gentle and humble. And I cannot imagine my life without him. I would be nowhere without him. And so maybe you're just due for a date with him. Just wherever you are, just right now, just grab a cup of tea or just sit right now, wherever you are, and just chat with him because I know he would be excited to sit with you. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will go ahead and click that like and subscribe button and hopefully I will see you on the next one.